Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll cover this lab. First of all, click on Start Lab. Okay. Now, once the lab is started, the first thing you need to do is right click over here and open an incognito window. Now, here you can see File, Make a Copy, it will ask, but before that, we have to sign in. So, for that, come to the lab instruction, copy the user details. Paste it. Next. Click on I understand. And after that, you can see this file. Make a copy. Now for the name, we need to just. Okay. So the name will be default only. So just make a copy directly. You have made a copy. Just check the score for this particular task. And if you want yellow check my progress bar, check the video description. Now we have to download one file. Okay. Explore the trick file and we have to just download on file. Okay. So what we need to do, we need to just copy this file name from here. Okay, just copy it. And from here, come over here, just click on this file. And from here, download option you are seeing, just click on this CSV. Make sure to verify the format. Okay. Now just paste the name and just save it. So once you save it, it's clearly done. Now we have to just uh, right click over here and open in a new tab. We are opening the Google Drive. Okay. So now here we have to upload the file. Let me just show you which file we have to upload. This file which we downloaded just now. So let me just drag and drop. Okay. Let me remove it also. What I did, just drag and drop over here. You can directly file and file upload from your local system also, or you can just drag and drop too. Now coming to the My Drive section, the file must have been uploaded. One more important thing you need to update that we need to go to the settings. Okay. So for that, just go to the settings. And from here, one more option needs to be enabled. Just click on it and just go back. Now just double click over here and just open with Google Sheet. So we have done this particular task also. So here you can see it's working. So just wait for it. You can see we got the score once the sheet is open. Now we have to create a new spreadsheet. So just do it like this. For the name, you can write anything. Or let's me write the same name which the lab is saying. Because it is better. Do not write any other name. Just use the lab name so that we get the score. Now click on anywhere else. Now all the things are done. Okay, all the things are done. So now for the next step in the description box, I've shared this file. You have to simply click on this download button and the file will be downloaded. Basically the sheet. Now just come over here to the important data sheet, which we just now created. Click on this file. Then you need to just go to import option. And from here you can see upload. Now just drag and drop from the downloads or you can just upload by browsing directly. From here, just click on replace spreadsheet and import data. Wait for the data to get import. Now the sheet is updated. From here, just come over here to the C section. And from here, just click on format, number. And from here, we have to just select currency. All the things are done successfully. Once this is successfully done, come back to the lab instruction and scroll down and just check the score. Now for the task number four, it's very easy. Copy this user email. Okay. And then come over here, click on this share. And do one more thing, just add your student ID also over here. Okay. And then just click on send. Now just come over here and just check the score. You can see we got the score and that's how we completed this particular lab. If you still have any doubts, do let me in the comment section. Do like the video and subscribe to the channel.